Hi guys, my name is Jake Kleiner. I'm the technical support manager here at WeBoost. Today I'm going to show you what the lights on our boosters mean and how to correct them. I'm holding the home 4G in my hands, but the lights mean the same on any booster you own. Some of our boosters have four lights, some have two and some have one. Each of these lights represents a frequency band. If you see that one of these lights has a color other than green, that means the problem exists only on that one frequency band. A solid red light on your booster means that the booster has shut down due to some feedback. Your inside and outside antennas are probably a little too close to each other and you need to separate them a little bit further to avoid this feedback loop. A blinking green and red light means that there is still some feedback, but the booster is still working, possibly with reduced coverage. The best thing to do is to test your coverage area to see how much you're actually losing or gaining. If you find that the booster is providing you with enough coverage for your needs, then it's okay to leave the blinking pattern the way it is. A solid orange light means that the booster is overloaded and has shut off. A common cause of this would be a cell phone tower too close to your location or a cell phone provider sending out a very strong signal to your area. The blinking green and orange light means that your booster is still overloading a little bit, but the booster is still working. This doesn't necessarily mean that you've lost any signal or coverage area, so the best thing to do would be to check your signal area to see what you have. If you find that the booster is providing you with enough coverage area for your needs, then it's okay to leave the booster with the blinking pattern that you see. If no lights appear on your booster, that means that it's not getting power. Double check your power cord to make sure that it's plugged into the wall and also plugged into the booster as well. If you see solid green lights on your booster, that's great. That means that your booster is functioning properly and now it's time to test your signal to make sure you're getting the coverage you need. Now that you know what the lights mean, here's how to fix them. If you see a solid red light or a blinking green and red light on your booster, best thing to do is to check your inside and outside antennas to make sure that you have enough separation between the two of them. For building installations, we typically recommend at least 30 to 40 feet of separation between the two antennas. For a vehicle, make sure your outside antenna is at least a foot away from any windows. If you see a solid orange light or a blinking green and orange light, try aiming your antenna away from the source of the overload and check your inside signal to see if it's improved and see if the booster's turned green again. If you see no lights on your booster, again, double check to make sure it's receiving the power it needs to start up. Check the wall and your booster to make sure your power cord is connected securely. You can find this and more information on our website at www.weboost.com by going to the website, scrolling to the bottom of the page, clicking on Support Center, and viewing our helpful articles that can help you with any question you may have. Thank you for watching today. If you've tried my suggestions and are still experiencing some problems, please call us or leave a comment below and we're happy to help you. Also, please subscribe to our channel as we'll be coming out with videos every week. Thank you and have a wonderful day.